Welcome back to Multiversal Studios. This video will be a basic Yu-Gi-Oh quiz. I will be asking 10 questions to two guys called Chris and Luke, who pretend to be Yu-Gi-Oh experts. They will both have a buzzer. Luke's buzzer noise will be... Montacado! And Chris's noise will be... The first person to buzz will get a chance to answer the question correctly and gain 2 points. However, if they get it wrong, will receive a minus 1. And also, give their opponent a free chance to steal. Alright, let's jump in! In Season 3, Episode 129, Clash of the Colosseum Part 1, in a duel against Kyber, Yugi activates Exchange to retrieve Slife of the Sky Dragon. What card does Seto take in return? Okay, is someone gonna buzz or? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so 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 Kaiba Kaiba gives away Slifer. Well, he doesn't have a choice. That's that's what Exchange does. Yeah, no, but that's so like right. So Sly Kaiba has Slifer. That's news so, to me. So Chris and a meme. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw that one. Yeah, so I, I, I thought I was like tempted to say, "Oh, a piece of Exodia." It's not that. Um, <laughs> uh, what about? Well, what do you? Has anyone buzzed? What's going on? Well, I, I haven't seen the fucking episode, have I? <laughs> no, I haven't buzzed. I haven't seen it. Wouldn't know. <laughs> um, but let's get things started off strong. Montacado! Okay, Luke. Thank you. Um. I think that it's uh, Karibo. <laughs> Alright, All right, that's like the worst right. answer. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's not the worst answer. Chris, you have a chance to steal? Yeah, go on then. I'll steal. Go on then. <laughs> the Celtic Guardian. Oh my. Celtic Guardian, Yugi. It is your destiny. Ugh. Oh my god. Have you, have you just not even watched Yu Gi Oh? What the hell? No! Literally. Not since I was seven. <laughs> okay, um, well, that's flipping great. <laughs> Question one. Can, can you yeah, tell it's, us the it's, answer? It's can the Life the Shaver trap card. The what? Yeah, so, so go, just quickly Google. I'll put it on the screen now, but it's... It's, it's not in TCG yet, so it's not real. That's what I'm getting from this. <laughs> it's not a real card. <laughs> Life Shaver isn't real. It can't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> No, going back to previously though, um, what did you mean by Kriba was the worst possible answer? I want to really <laughs> yeah. that. because <laughs> because that means Seto would have looked at Yugi's hand. I'm going. I'll take the Kribo. Is that how exchange works? Yeah, you you pick the card in your opponent's hand. You don't know how exchange works. What's going on? Why would I know exchange? What do you mean, works? Why would you know? Did, you played does it, Yugi. Does it come before. up much? Yeah, does it come up? <laughs> yeah. People play yeah, exchange. Yeah, quite a lot, I think. Well, okay, when? I don't know. I don't know if you can say that. Maybe on the playground in like two thousand six. Yeah. I don't know if you can say that now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to question two, guys. Obviously, question one was a huge success. <laughs> okay, so yeah. oh, you're definitely not gonna get this right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In season one, episode forty-two, ties of friendship. In the duel versus Rebecca, after Yugi surrenders the duel, which card was Yugi about to draw next? Which was revealed by Arthur Hawkins. Oh shit! I remember this episode. I don't remember the card. <laughs> Luke's like, who's Arthur Hawkins? <laughs> <laughs> is this when um? This is like the old guy. Were they were they ghosts? That's Wait, what? Else? what I'm thinking about? of something else. I, I I think that's a different anime. Oh my god! This isn't Digimon. <laughs> oh, fuck. Is this the Orokaku ship? No. He's like... So the whole premise of the duel is that it's um. It's a Rebecca fighting, fighting Yugi, isn't it, to get the card back, to get the blue eyes back for yeah, a that's right. Right. In the end, Yugi concedes the duel, but, like, he was in a winning position. Like, the, the card he was about to play would have won him the game, basically, but he, he chose to surrender so that she could have the card, basically. Okay, thanks for, thanks for coaching me through this, Chris. I think I've got it. Montacado! <laughs> if you've Googled it, I swear to God. Sparks. Well... I'll steal. That's good. Okay. The first thing that came to mind was Swords Revealing Light, but I don't think that's the answer. Because um, I don't <laughs> see how that would win a game. I'm just going to say Magical Dimension. What's... Why Magical Dimension? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's got a good spellcaster in his hand. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you're both both wrong. 
at least Spark, if she's on 200, they, he can win a game, right? I didn't say I didn't say what potential cards could he draw to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe maybe Top he runs right Sparks, I don't know. Fuck. Uh, okay, I, okay, the answer is Soul Release. How old is Pegasus stated on his wiki page? Okay, okay, Luke, before you answer, right? Just think <laughs> just just think about it, right? No, I like I, I know he's pretty he's like way younger than you'd normally think. Um he's a lot younger than you'd think. I remember that much. Because he seems like he's what, like thirties, forties, got grey hair, but he's actually like I'm drawn between like nineteen or twenty four. I'll say twenty four. Luke, you actually got that correct. You actually got it correct. Wait, really? <laughs> it's actually he's actually twenty four on his wiki page. Shit. On the nose. <laughs> Question four. In the yeah. ancient times, what was the name of Mahad's car? Oh, shit. Hang on. Um... Oh, I should know this. I, I recorded the video. God damn it. <laughs> Is it Illusion Magician? Oh. I googled this like half an hour ago. This came up on the... I looked at the, all the Sacred Guardians because I haven't seen that arc at all. <laughs> so Chris, right? Like... You recorded a video where I literally... Yeah, I recorded the... a video on this, what, about four months ago and I was really ill the day I recorded it, I remember. <laughs> Luke's actually on positive two. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm just really good at Yu-Gi-Oh! I just want to tell you guys. Question five. In Duelist Kingdom Season 1, Episode 5, which monster did Yugi use to defeat the Great Moth? And bonus point, how did he do it? All right, Chris. Okay, the problem is... <laughs> oh my God. I can't remember the name of the specific monster, but I know what it is. So he used Burning Land, which um, like weakened the Great Moth, and I'm pretty sure it was um, the fusion between Gaia and Curse of Dragon, wasn't it? I've never heard an answer. So wrong. Wait, what? No, he does use Burning Land, doesn't he? He does in the duel, but not to finish, yeah. not to defeat the Great Moth. Okay. Is defeating the Great Moth, like... That's uh, where the duel the ends. ends. I will give you props, Chris, because you did, you did remember a part of the duel. Yay. <laughs> um, Alright, Luke, do you want to steal? Um, so the monster he uses to win would have to be, like, semi-strong, right? Like, uh, I don't know, I've no idea how it wins, but I'm going to say, um, let's go with Summon Skull. That's correct. For the bonus <laughs> points, yes. how did you do it? Um, I've no idea. I'm just, he uses uh, the lightning to burn down the web or some shit. No, the answer is he uses Mokyu, the magical mist. I hope you're in the mood for some fireworks, Weevil, because all this water boosts my monster's electrical attack by 1,000 points. Summon Skull! Lightning Strike! Question six. In season three, in Battle City, in the duel between Yugi and Seto, called the Clash in the Colosseum, how many parts did this duel consist of? All right, Luke, go. Uh, is it three episodes? Three episodes is wrong. Can I steal? Yeah, of course. I think it's four. That is also wrong. <laughs> Damn. The answer is six parts. God. Six? In the Waking the Dragon arc, Darts uses two other spell cards to reinforce the seal of Orichalcos, therefore ad adding additional layers to the circle. What are they called? Are you kidding me? I'm passing. There's, I don't know this at all, unless it's like, oh, the seal of Orichalcos, second seal or some shit. No. I think it basically is something like that, but I, it's either that or it's like diacalcos and triacalcos or something like that. But <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pass. I don't know. Okay, so the two spell cards are called Orichalcos Deuteros and Orichalcos Tritos. Out of the six guardians which protected the pharaoh, one being Seto, can you name me four other guardians? Bonus point being all five. I can think of two. I need to. Oh, I, ca I can't think of the guy's second name. Oh, it's the guy with the key. Uh, we got. We all know it's Arknadine. Everyone's favorite. That's 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 a lock in. Easy. Mahad, you said earlier. Another lock in. <laughs> the thing that annoys me, right, is I. <laughs> so I know another one, but I can't remember his ancient Egyptian name. <laughs> but I remember who he is in present day, and that's really pissing me off. <laughs> can I? Can I message you something? Mr. DJ Man. <laughs> okay. 
No. no okay, well, that's a freebie then, I guess. No. Okay, so Kelbeck's Who the hell is like Kelbeck? <laughs> he was on the wiki. He's like a he's like a fucked up looking little goblin man. I think I remember his name, so I have three. <laughs> what if it was Joey Wheeler, though? Ever think about that? <laughs> what a great idea! <laughs> <laughs> a great idea for a video. Does anyone want to press the buzzer? In a minute. No, I've given up. I once. Wait, in like, a minute. There was another guy I knew who was in there, and uh, since then, like, I've tried to think of his name, and for some reason, the name Dinesh has got sucked. <laughs> so I'm, I know I'm fucked. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm completely fucked. Shark T. <laughs> 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 are we counting? Are we? Is this ex- exclusively attem- a ten? six guardians. Six guardians. Right. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Oh, oh, come oh, on. Oh, like you knew any of the guardians. I remembered. I remembered Grandpa's old Egyptian counterpart's what name. Was it <laughs> Dinesh? <laughs> Dinesh. Are you passing, Luke? Then no, I yeah, passed okay. a while ago. Mentally checked out. The five is obviously Mahad. Yeah. Then there's Aknardin. Yeah. Yep. Then there's Isis, which is um, Ishizu's ancient counterpart. Uh, Isis. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So it was Shadar. Shadar. Um, and also Kareem. Okay, so question nine. In season one, episode 13, the evil spirit of the ring. In that episode, everyone revealed their favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which their souls were eventually trapped in. Which card did Taya choose? Does everyone remember oh. that? Does everyone remember that episode? Yes, yeah, I, I, I do, I, that's a good episode. Yeah, Chris, but, you'd no. get, you'd probably remember it. Luke, do you remember this episode? Oh. oh. For Chris. Is it Magician of Faith? It's Magician of Faith. Yes! <laughs> Question 10. In Battle City, episode 80, Lights Camera Duel. Mai went up against an actor with the risk of getting married to him if she lost. What was his name? Oh, I knew I knew exactly where you were going to be going with it. <laughs> He's got a French name. Do you want his full name? His full name. I don't know. I think his name is like Pierre. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> I, know his, I know his first name, but I can't think of his last. <laughs> Chris. It's Jean Claude. I'm gonna say Mag. I, I, I think it's Jean Claude Magnum. That's right. It's Jean Claude Magnum. Well, it looks like we have a draw. So I guess there'll be a part two tiebreaker round. So stay tuned for that video. Let me know in the comments down below how many answers you got correct. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for?